All right, so I've got a couple little upgrades that I'm gonna be doing today. First of which is a new steering wheel cover. Not sure what that was. First of which is gonna be a new steering wheel cover that I'm going to uh, see if it will fit on here. I like the feel of the steering wheel cover that we have on our F250, and this is uh, very similar. So we're gonna see if I can get this on here because this is definitely a larger steering wheel. I do believe that these are 17 inch. So we're gonna see, does it, uh, does it look like it's gonna fit? It does. So let me get this on and show you what it looks like. Well, that was a lot easier to put on than it was in our F250 Super Duty. Um, but it feels like it's on there solid. It doesn't feel like it's moving around really too much, but I didn't have to pry it on near as hard, but I love the way it has these grippy areas and that's primarily where I'm holding on to the steering wheel is in these areas here when I'm driving so it makes it really nice gives you a good grip adds a little bit of uh, thickness to the steering wheel which I like because the steering wheel is pretty pretty thin you know it's not really a very thick steering wheel so we'll be able to try this out uh, this weekend on our drive up to North Georgia and Vogel State Park so I'll leave a link in the description below if you are looking for a steering wheel cover that will fit like a Class A style uh, steering wheel, like the Ford F53 chassis and stuff, because these are these are definitely not the same size steering wheel as what you get in a normal pickup truck. And the second upgrade I'm going to be doing today, providing it gets here in time, is I ordered a Safe T Plus, and it is safe as in S A F E T as in the letter T. Plus, and that is a steering stabilizer that's going to go under here and hook to our um, tie rod. And well, one end will hook to the tie rod, one end will hook to the bracket that holds the driver's side springs, leaf springs. And that is supposed to bring everything back to center and it's supposed to help in the event of a blowout, like a front end blowout. And it's just supposed to, you know, make the wandering a little bit less. Now this rig drives pretty good with the Easy Drive Elite system and that they did put on there as an upgrade. It does have a Bilstein steering somewhat stabilizer, but it's not near as beefy as what we're getting ready to put on there now. And I hope this, you know, eliminates a little bit of the uh, issue like yesterday driving home from Port Charlotte. We, well, I should say I was fighting the wind pretty much the whole way because you're driving a big you know a big square box you know rectangle box down the highway and the wind was blowing so it made a it made for a two-handing driving experience pretty much the whole way home and a little bit of a white knuckle experience on a few places so as soon as that part comes I'm going to crawl under there I will take off the old Bilstein steering stabilizer that's on there now and hook this one up and when Allie gets home tonight we will take it for a test drive and do all the adjusting all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some P blaster here, spray these U-bolts uh, on the leaf spring. I have a feeling they're going to be stuck on there pretty good. So I'll sit there and let those soak while I take off the existing stabilizer right here. So I'll have to get some sockets here. I'm going to go get my breaker. All right, so I actually ended up running the jacks down here on the front to give me a little bit more room in here to see if I can uh, see if I'm going to be able to break these loose here. Yeah, they're coming loose. So I'm gonna stop there and go ahead, like I said, take this Bilstein shock off first. And I don't, I'm not even gonna mess with taking the plate off on that one. It just, I'm just gonna take the shock off over there and just leave that plate mounted underneath that spring. I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, so I've got the Bilstein shock off and I'm ready to start running these leaf spring bolts off to put the mounting bracket on for that so I'm going to go in and get all the parts from the safety plus and the instructions just to double check myself as I'm going but it seems pretty straightforward all right so I'm going to go ahead and run these totally off now so I can put the bracket on there uh. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, uh, so if I can get under here. This is what I'm going to have to retort to 200, I believe 200 foot pounds. Once I get the bracket on there. Okay, the bracket goes up and the 45 degree angle goes towards the driver's wheel. Okay, let's get the bolt started. At least get one started a little bit here to kind of hold it in place. I do this by feel here. There I go. Yeah, I need to be on this side where I can use my dominant hand and I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now, ow! There's a little bit of a metal burr on there. It got me. Bump these all the way up. I guess I go ahead and tighten these down to 250 torque pounds. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch this over to a time lapse rather than having you see all the work. Well, I'm just going to say that that was whew, that was a workout getting those bolts back and those nuts back on those U bolts to 250 foot pounds. I don't know if you could tell in the time lapse, but I was having to use my foot and brace my back against that tire and push for all I was worth to be able to get those, to reach the 250 foot pounds. It was so bad at one point, I, I backed it down to 230, thinking maybe the torque wrench wasn't working right, but it was, and uh, they're tight now. I will probably recheck these after we drive a few hundred miles, you know, and but I probably will check them at our first stop just get under here and do a visual, you know, and just see, make sure nothing's, nothing's backed itself off. I don't see how it could with uh, the amount of force that I was putting on that. All right, so let's, uh, let's get the shock hung and uh, uh, take it from there. So the shock came with these two bolts that will go through the hanger and through the shock. Man, this is going to be a little bit tough, too, because this thing is so heavy. <sighs> But uh, I've seen other people do it. I can do it. Uh, let's get this side hung first. Uh, and the washer. Okay, so the washer goes on the bottom on this bracket. And the washer goes on the top when I put this bracket in over here. And actually, I think I'm supposed to put that bracket in first, I think. Let's see. Yes, I gotta hang that bracket first. And this bracket will go with the U-bolts hanging down from the top. Take the, uh, the nuts off of it here. Okay, and then the bracket comes up from the bottom and will be like so. So I'm just going to thread these on there loosely. You're not to, supposed to tighten these yet. Just to hold it in place. And I don't think we tighten any of this stuff down and once until everything is uh, in place. And these are like self-locking uh, nuts, so they only go on so far before you have to put some uh, a wrench on them. So I'm just thumbing up, thumbing them up until it stops here. Okay. All right. So that's that step. We are ready to hang the shock, I do believe. 
So this one here will go with the washer on, uh, let me just make double sure. I don't want to have to take things back apart. Yes, the washer goes on this side. And this will go up through here. And that will hold it in place. The bracket actually kind of holds it. There's so much weight on it. And you do go in the outside, the outside hole. I don't know why there's two holes there. Maybe it's for a different application or something, but it is the furthest away hole. Yes, bolt goes up through. It goes in the hole closest, then the washer, then the nut. Okay, and that's, that is that. Okay, so now we need the impact gun again and my wrench. So I'll go ahead and switch over speed this up so you don't have to watch all the boring details here. All right, so I've got everything loosely installed here. I made a mistake here on this bracket. So learn from my mistake. I tried to mount this thing on the bottom of the bracket. Don't know why. I just got sideways, I guess you might say. So everything is kind of loosely in place. Now it's time to run these down and tighten them up, torque them up, and uh, let this thing sit where it wants to sit and tighten it up and test drive it and start adjusting. Okay, all right, so it's installed. I don't know if it's 100% parallel with the steering bar, as it says it should be. Um, I may have to loosen it up. It looks to me like it's running downhill a little bit. So they say they want it horizontal with the steering bar. But doing that is definitely gonna move this bracket where it's not facing down, so I think I'm going to loosen those up a little bit, see if I can't raise this up because it's definitely running downhill a little bit. So that definitely looks more parallel. Uh, I'm just, I'm not sure if that bracket's supposed to be the way it is or not. It almost looks to me like that bracket should be flipped up around the other way to where the U-bolts are facing upward. I am actually going to uh, do a little investigating online and see if that's the case. Well, we are test driving the RV since I installed the Safety Plus steering stabilizing system. And uh, this is the, the last process in the installation. You have to drive with it and get on a flat road and see if it tracks straight. If not, I'll have to claw onto there while Allie holds the steering wheel steady, straight position. And I'll have to do a little adjusting here and there. So far, knock on wood, I know we haven't gone very fast yet. Knock on wood, I mean, it seems to be telling straight. We'll let you know. Hmm. So I can tell one thing already. Um, it is, uh, when I'm changing lanes, it's not, as hard to stop the, the the turn in other words it like once i'm done with my turn of the steering wheel it just it returns it back and uh, it's, it's like i don't have to overcorrect as much that's one thing i know so far now we're getting ready to get out on a highway here they say it's best to test it in the middle lane because it's the lane that's going to be the most level so probably going to do that but right now we're going to stop and get some gas and gas up for our trip that's coming up this weekend that's going to be the real test well we've I did adjust one little micro adjustment because I felt like it was pulling just ever so slightly to the right um, and I mean it barely barely moved when I loosened up the u-bolts underneath there I wouldn't say it moved more than a sixteenth of an inch maybe an eighth of an inch I don't know but it, it wasn't much and I don't know, it seems like it's pretty good. It may be towing a little bit now to the left, just a air ever so slightly. But I, you know, when I'm driving down a pretty level road where the road doesn't look crowned, I mean, it's can, tracking straight right now. A, can you tell a big difference compared to the other? We'll know more when we get on the interstate. That's for sure. I can tell that 
when I make a turn and I'm going back to straight, it is like so effortless. You know, I just basically kind of let go of the steering wheel and it brings it back to straight. And I think that's one of the ways that it'll help that if we did have a front end blowout tire that uh, it will help kind of pull you straight. And it'll give you, a, as they say, a fighting chance to not completely wreck the thing. But we will update as we are driving this Thursday evening up to Vogel in Georgia. Obviously, we won't make it all the way to Vogel Thursday night, but we will update on the trip how, how much I like it. I mean, right now, it's just like, yeah, we're only going 35 mile an hour, but it is like, it just, it, it drives like my uh, F-250 right now. It's nice. I like it. I like how the steering feels tighter, you know? So, and you got a new steering wheel cover. Yep. And I like this. Yeah, I love the steering wheel cover because it's just so easy to grip on the sides. It doesn't wear your hands out trying to grip it, you know? Well, we will update you as we drive the RV some more and we're on the interstate. No more information, but. And if we think it's worth it, we will definitely uh, put a link in the description down below. Amazon has a pretty good price on it, so we will leave an Amazon link down below. Well, we're getting ready to jump on some interstate like roads. We're getting ready to jump on the expressway here. And this is going to be the first real test for the Safety Plus steering stabilizer. So far, I've been enjoying it just going down uh, State Road 52. Well, we are on the uh, toll road right now, which is like an interstate. I'm running around 65 miles an hour. I can feel that there's a lot of wind and there's a lot of turbulence out there. But boy, I am not fighting the steering wheel like I normally would. It is, uh, it's holding steady. So far, really think this was a wise upgrade. But we will update more as the trip wears on. So in conclusion, would I recommend the Safety Plus steering stabilizer? Absolutely. So we have driven, you know, pretty much a thousand miles at this point with it. We are on our way home from North Georgia, getting close to South Georgia at this point, about an hour from Valdosta. And traffic has not been bad for quite a ways here, you know, so it's been very, very smooth. I am actually running 70 miles an hour. Uh, I don't advocate driving that fast with an RV, but traffic is good. I can, no way could I ever drove more than about 60 miles an hour before I put this on. So when traffic conditions are like this and there's really no one on the road, not much wind at all. I mean, it's just tracking straight down between the lanes. I'm having to do very little correction. I, I couldn't have driven it this fast with the uh, with what that had on with what they had on there before. All right, so so far so good. We love it. Definitely highly recommend it, and we will definitely put a link in the description down below if you're interested in checking one out for yourself. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, be on the lookout for our Vogel trip to Georgia. That'll be coming up next week. All right, we'll see you.